Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Bringing you another fly time video this week. This one's a very, very simple one, but this time of the year, especially here in my area, it's a must-have fly. That's a zebra midge pop pattern, and uh, this one is the fourth quarter zebra midge. Um, just a variation of a zebra midge. I'm going to add some flash to it, and I've been catching a ton of fish on it. Um, one of the local streams in my area has a lot of black fly larvae, so summertime, if I'm fishing that stream, um, which, you know, I usually shut down, don't do much fishing at all for trout in the summertime, but uh, if you go early in the morning, we have some limestone spring-fed streams here that you can get out and fish on early before it gets too hot. So um, if I do that, I'm using a white zebra midge. Uh, a lot of times I'm dropping it under a beetle or, uh, you know, using a dry dropper rig with a small caddis fly. And um, one of these little guys works great and it catches fish. So uh, enough talking. Here you're going to see the fly and then the material list to tie it. Okay, here you see in the vise the fourth quarter zebra midge. Really simple, really good fish catching fly here in the summertime. So let's get into tying it. For a hook, I'm using a fire hole 316. This is a size 18. For the bead, we're using a tungsten bead. Um, this is sterling silver fire hole 2.0. And for thread, I'm just using some white 70 denier. And we're just going to wrap that on there and get it started. Now the next thing I'm going to put on is some, whoops, I'm going to cut my tag end off here. Next thing we're going to put on is a piece of silver wire. And this is a uh, small size. And I'm just going to wrap it on there and wrap it back around the bend. And then back up. Last thing we're going to put on is some, uh, Mirage Pearl Tinsel, and this is the small size, and we're going to wrap it back there to this, to the end of the wire there too. Now, I'm just going to build up a little bit of a taper here, not a big one, enough to lock that bead in place, and smooth out the rest of the fly. So, just want to get that nice and smooth and taper up to that head, as you see right there. Then we're going to take this Mirage Tinsel. And I'm just going to make side-by-side -side wraps. Not touching. I'm going to space them out a little bit. Let that white shine through. White thread. And when we get up behind the bead, just tie it off. Then we're going to come in with our wire. And I'm going to counter wrap it. And that will protect that wire, or sorry, that tinsel from the fish's teeth. And we're just going to counter wrap that the whole way up right behind that bead and tie it off. Alright, last thing. Oops, just going to helicopter that wire off. And then whip finish the fly. Now you can, if you want, put a little dot of black up there. I don't do it. Um, I don't think... It's worth my time, to be honest. I just like to add, with this, I'll just add just a little touch of bone dry to secure that thread so it don't come unwound. And that's all I do. This is the way I fish it, and it catches fish for me. Alright guys, I hope you like that really simple pattern. Um, I said last week in my review of the new Diamondback fly rod, if you didn't see my review on the Diamondback Ideal Nymph Rod, go back and check out last week's video. Uh, I catch a couple fish in the, in the video on it, and both of them were on this fly. It's a great summertime fly here in my area, and it's kind of a must-have. Definitely, you know, you can tie this with different color threads, tie it some blacks, maybe some reds, whatever you like to tie, um, you know, whatever colors you like to fish. But uh, it's just a zebra midge with a little bit of flash, and I think that flash really catches the fish's eye, and I like it a lot. So, 
Hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, subscribe, thumbs up, whatever you like to do there, and uh, help me support my channel. Until next week, when I bring you another video, I'm Sean Holsinger.